because I was hot with Hasbro, I became hot with everybody. And Universal approached me to come up with that. And the idea was, what if the bionic man married the bionic woman, but they need some other things to be the bionic six? So I gave them a bionic pet. Uh, I forget what the name of it was, which was a gorilla and uh, two kids. And uh, I even did some of the drawings for it. And I recorded some voices. Anyway, a, a Japanese animation company made a bid to do it as long as they could become, you know, content providers rather than just coolies for hire. So we had a big meeting when the first drawings came back and the Japanese animators had ignored what was there and they gave one of the characters a magic lasso and they changed another character entirely. And we had the meeting and uh, Universal and the toy company is sitting there with me and they say, what do you think? And I said, and there are five Japanese guys sitting there, I said, this isn't what they bought. This isn't what's been programmed. This isn't what's been sold. I said, you have done your own version of this. You can't do that. And they all looked at each other, and one of them went like this, which means with a group of Japanese, you talk to that person. I said, I'm talking to you. You can't do this. This isn't what they bought. This isn't what I wrote. Suddenly there was a big kerfluffle. You can't do that. You can't speak directly and complain about that. They will lose face. I said, they should have their faces removed. They fucked up. <laughs> anyway, I got a big apology. Do you know why they did that? Yes, because they wanted to do it their way. They just Because they were paying for the animation. So they figured we're going to just inject ourselves into the storyline. And we're going to make our own toys. Doesn't every kid want a golden lasso? I don't know about you, but I stopped using that when, you know, it was very tough to grab a girl by the bus with a lasso. It's just, they immediately shrink away. But I got big letters and a phone call from Japan. We're very sorry that we have, you know, failed you. We take this quite serious. I said, you didn't fail me. You just decided to do your own show, which is fine with me, if that's what the people that hired me are willing to go for. Anyway, what happened is they replaced those five guys with five other guys, and then they did exactly what they're going to do anyway. And all of the people that lost face, they were all promoted and sent me notification of their promoted promotions. So east is east and west is west, and either one can fuck you.